Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII where I'm happy to say that we did not have any glitching in the last episode. I think it's partly because I finally matched the input and the outputs essentially, which is nice. Anyway, I know last time I mentioned that we should have topics to talk about and while I don't really have a topic to talk about, I do have some Dungeons and Dragons things that might be interesting, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have, uh, I have a necromancer and an illusionist I was trying to make the other day, and I figured, since I don't have to stare too much at this, oh, come on, I don't where they, I don't have to stare too much at the screen during the grindathon. uh, I figured I would share, I would share that with you. Oh no, you're still, oh no, please attack, yes, please attack. Anyway. <laughs> the necromancer so it's a wizard subclass right um and again i'm a total noob for well not total noob i'm a partial noob for dnd uh I, I enjoy it but i haven't been able to play much this year despite some people you know being good oh no yeah <laughs> jeez um and being able to play online uh i alas have not been able to with my group of friends really um, and everyone's been really busy anyway, and it's been stressful, but anyway, I was listening to the dungeon cast actually the other day, and they were talking about, uh, the necromancer and the illusionist, and the necromancer's been one in particular I've been wanting to make for a while, and the illusionist is a sense, because I remember, I've been looking at some of, like, like, hearing about the illusion stuff, oh, cool, an achievement, <laughs> uh, and it seems like illusion magic doesn't have a great, um, what do you call it, like, um, application in, in battle, you know? It, it might be more of a role-playing thing. Um, I, I couldn't be for sure 100% on that. Because um, I haven't played one. Um, but I was going through, and I, was, I actually had the Necromancer up, but since I'm freaking talking about the Illusionist, I picked out some spells and stuff. Uh, for the illusionist, I couldn't decide if I wanted to make her a drow or a tiefling. Um, I think I was le- Uh, I think. Uh, I was, um, leaning towards- What was I leaning towards? I think I was leaning towards a tiefling at some point, but I had a friend who pointed out that, like, a drow being an illusionist would be really cool. Because she was pointing out that the use of, like, darkness spells would be really interesting to try to, like, um, bring everybody on, like, a level playing field, at least for the drow, from the drow's point of view. Because the drow is used to living in the at night. Oh, and I don't subscribe to the stupid, uh, Wizards of the Coast thing where they're like, they're all the drow are evil, they're just freaking born evil. I ain't about that. I live in an alternate reality. No, please! Uh, I just don't acknowledge it. I think it's dumb. <laughs> I'm one of those people that does find it slightly suspect that it's all the, like, darker-skinned races that, uh, are apparently just born evil. But anyway, that besides that, which has been changing, and it is good that it is changing. Um. Oh, frick, how'd she come back? Oh, he used- oh, that's right, he used Phoenix down. Perfect. I was gonna use- I was gonna cast that myself. Um. But anyway, I don't subscribe by the, the, uh, the drow are evil. Um. It's a choice that you make to be evil. Um, and she's fine, Bossler. Anyway, so that's why that's that's why I, I mentioned that about the drow, just because like I wouldn't be an evil drow. I would be a normal person <laughs> who lived underground. Also, for being real, real, real here, I've always thought it was weird that they're like, ah, yes, the drow, the super dark-skinned elves that live in the underground, and they're totally evil all the time. They're just born that way. I'm like, technically, technically, if you were a race that was optimized for living deep underground, you would probably be super white, like super pale. Like the lack of, it is sunlight and it is the exposure to sunlight that gradually makes your skin go dark over time. Like your body, like it makes like the human species evolve in such a way to like compensate by having darker skin so that you don't have to worry about like, uh, not mel did, I, did I say melatonin? You have more melanin to deal with UV rays. You know what I mean? Um, and 
that's why white people live in the north where it's very cold or like you know traditionally like you lived in the north where it was freaking cold and you didn't get a lot of sunlight you know like there was less sunlight throughout the year so it wasn't a thing that you had to worry about as much um but that's the whole thing being deep 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 underground you would freaking you'd be super pale because you don't have sunlight and that's why like the fish like you see like weird fish that live in like caves and they're like just super pale so, I don't know, I always thought that was a little weird. I thought that was a little weird! <laughs> um, where am I trying to go here? I'm going backwards. I think we should be good to move on to the next area. We can move on to this one. Let's move into this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we go, I need to go south. We don't have, we do, aha. We do have directions. This might be the incorrect south though. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. Yes, it's the incorrect south. I need to go to the other south. I need to go west and then town. I have no idea what the pebble. I should look what the pebbles do. Leveling up! Oh, friggin' Bosh? Is that Bosh? Bosh is already level 13. Well, frick, man. That was fast. Uh... Mm, I guess we'll... No, let's keep Bosh, and when he reaches level 14, I'll switch over to Vaughn, because that wasn't very long. Although, actually, oh shoot. Yeah, when Bomba Year hits 13, I'll switch out for Ash, because she's a ranged fighter too. She's just a ranged fighter with magic, so these three can kind of switch out, sort of? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I just need at least Bosh or Vaughn. Actually, I don't, because I have Vossler, don't I? I was like, I need a heavy eater, but I don't, because I, I, I have one locked in, essentially, right now. So maybe I'll take out... Let's... Should we be risky? Be risky and bring in Ash. Penelo, Ash, both the year. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, back this way. And we go this way. And we just make sure, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm such poor audio quality. I got my hand on my mouth. I'm like leaning into my, my hand on my, like my desk. You know what I mean? Like my mouth, my jaw is like, my hand is like covering my mouth. Anyway, frick, it's going to make me go past this thing, isn't it? Not if we can run past it. Whoa! I don't even know if we can, but we'll give it a try. We can always try to disengage and run to a different area. Okay, kill it quickly, kill it quickly, kill it quickly. Ooh, ooh, nice. I was like, hey, how do you get silenced? But it's because Ash. And she, she freaking gave it to the person who had the highest MP, which was that particular enemy at that particular time. No, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Good, we're silenced it, so it cannot cast any magic, any evil magics on us. Try attack, please don't do that. Attack this one. Oh jeez. I have no idea which direction it's gonna come from. I think it's that red dot on the top right, the top, like, top left corner of the map, anyway. Okay, we made it past it. There's no way. There's no way I could beat that thing. Oh, ye yeah, little faith. Listen, I have friggin' uh, uh, a high opinion of myself. And that high opinion of myself does not include that. Actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna go to this one. I actually don't have that high of opinion of myself. What I have is a, is a pretty, uh, I feel like a pretty solid down to earth, you know, grasp of my capabilities. And that is not, it does not include that. Anyway, anyway, I was leaning towards a drow or team thing. Um, and the thing is, I was like, oh, oh, great. Um, I, I like the idea of the, like the drow for like the whole darkness thing. Um, but like to cast darkness, oh, I got it. To cast darkness on, um, oh, I hit, I hit the wrong one. Oh well. But none of the illusion spells are darkness based, really. Um, haha. -ha. 
She silenced both of them. Man, she's so good. Oh my gosh, we're killing things so fast. Um. Oh my gosh, though, she's got. Hmm, okay, this is a problem. This is a problem for her gambits. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take a look. See, I had like a topic and everything, and now I'm like busy with the actual game, which is fine. <laughs> um. So I think. Um. Foe highest magic power with silence is something that she's gonna cost. She's gonna cast too frequently at this at this point. Um, maybe if I say, is there like a person? I didn't really get any of the MPs. I think. I think I didn't. Yeah. I think these are like you know the generics, like highest, lowest, highest, lowest, blah, 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 foe, HP, and we have HP stuff, but I, I know for a fact there was MP stuff that I didn't pick up. Um, so, da, da, da. So that's something, that's a good reason to get some MP stuff. Because I was like, I don't need that. I don't really have anything that does anything with that. Totally not thinking about Ash's ability here. Um, and these guys are wind weak, but she doesn't have any powers for that. At least I don't think so. Let's go look really quick. If I was able to, if I just didn't have the gambit slots for it. So her and Fran also definitely need gambit slots. Let's see. Um, uh, licenses. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, perfect, Fran. We'll, we will get you some gambit slots, my darling. Gambit slot. Gambit slot. Okay, that's all we can do for her for now. And Holy cow, Ash is getting so many LP points. We don't even have, I don't even have the capability to like fully utilize her at this point. Okay, Gambit Slot. Gambit Slot. I don't know what that is, but uh, I got it. Nord Swain's Glow. I got, I'm gonna look it up. I ain't gonna, I don't know what it is, and I don't want to waste 50 XP on it. <sighs> oh my gosh, I forgot. What? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's awesome. Sorry. <laughs> I, I had a prescription that I needed to pick up today. Um that I wasn't sure they were gonna get in. Like I, I called and I was like, please can I get it in today because I'm leaving for work tomorrow. And I, it almost never happens and I just got the notification that it did. Anyway, real quick. Mm -hmm. Glow. What does it do? Is Ash's level one quickening? I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? It deals damage equal to a random number between 1 and 90 multiplied by Ash's strength and costs 1 mischarge to execute. It's her strength classifier ability. She doesn't have great strength, though. Uh, maybe I don't get that right now. Maybe I focus on gambit slots. Because, uh, because friggin' I do not have enough gambit slots for her. It's a big thing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, everybody else, I don't know what you need. I don't know, man. Increases mass. This is just all my warrior types are getting is increases the HP. I mean, I'm sure it's great and all. Uh, actually, sure. We'll get you a bangle. Why not? I don't have any bangles for you, but... You know, here we are. I don't... Uh, he doesn't really need gambit slots right now, I don't... Dang, I think we're good on gambit slots. Increases physical attack damage. Oh, yeah, give me, give me. Increases, uh, increases it a bit more. Ooh. Ooh. Removes remedies, removes sleep, sap, immobilize, and disable. Sure. I don't know how he would learn to do that, but here we are. That's what he that's what he can do. Uh, 
Rick, man. I don't even know. I don't know what that. I don't know what any of this does. I don't know what these scales do. I haven't been able to find any scales for him. Mm. I don't have nice guns, but sure. We'll get him a level three gun at some point. I'm sure. And what do you need, buddy? I don't know. You don't really need any of that. Uh, again, MP? You don't need that. You don't use MP. Yeah, you probably will at some point. And I'll be like, oops. Oh my gosh. Increases defense when HP. Oh, frick. Okay, I need to get. I need to do that. Yeah. Just beef him up, I guess. I don't know. Pinello, Pinello. You can always use more gamut slots, Pinello. But it looks like right now. Oh, dang. That's a rough one. They don't give you more. They lock those gambit slots behind some some intense stuff. Green magic. They don't have any of that. Increases magic potency. We'll do the cheap one. Oh, a gambit slot. Okay, excellent. Mm, let's just increase that again. I think I'm not hurting for. I think I've got like a. She's got a lot of gambit slots. I think so. We're doing pretty good on that. Ash, though, what was I wanting to do? Okay, damn. All right, all right, all right. We've got for Ash. She's got. She's got pure and blind. Oh, and that's why. I think I saw like when both her and Pinello now are gonna be healing someone when they're at below 30%, which actually isn't too bad because they'll get up, they'll be like double the amount of heals and it's gonna go whoop. But it's not necessarily something that is like you know. I'm like, oh yeah, let's totally do that. You know, it could, it could definitely change it. Let's do. To an enemy. Uh, who is fire weak? Okay, I actually I don't know if somebody did respond to this. I apologize. I I may have just missed it. Uh, I've caught up to most comments, but um, I think there's a few I haven't done. Uh, but I am gonna check the difference between. Weak and vulnerable Final Fantasy 12. Weak means an enemy takes extra damage from the element. Vulnerable means the enemy doesn't absorb the element. Oh! If you use attack enemy vulnerable to win, you attack any enemy that doesn't absorb it. So that's actually really, really great. So like a, um, a, a ball of fire would take extra damage from water, potentially. Uh, but it, you could also just, if you, so that's weak, but vulnerable is anything as long as it's not like, like, I could use anything on that fireball except fire. Okay. Uh, let's, so I, so I don't want to do weak, I'd rather do vulnerable, lightning vulnerable. Although that, that could get, that could get, like, bad in that I just blow through her MP. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Let's this up here. Don't 
Well, maybe, I don't know, flying? Put a, fi a flying bow to sleep? <laughs> I don't know if that worked. Um, we've also got poison. Maybe I'll do the poison. I don't know. If the, no, I don't actually have. I don't have like a a poison vulnerable thing. I'm, I'm gonna absolutely blow through her MP. She's already like incredibly low right now because of this. I'm gonna not just. Um, what could I do here? Maybe not highest magic power, but highest max HP? Because then she won't just like constant cast it. And, well, highest MP and lowest MP isn't mean that she would potentially be constant. Oh, wait. Is, I thought MP was magic power, so now I'm... No, MP is just what you use to cast. Cast anything. Not just... Right? Just Not just magical things. Maybe I do... Highest magic power. Blah. Let's try that and see how that goes. Because she doesn't necessarily need to cast silence on a creature that doesn't use magic, you know. But MP, everybody has MP, so she's just she could just be casting it willy nilly. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyway, this is enjoyable. I actually I really like I like trying to optimize stuff like this. I am bad in that I try to not, um, let's see. I try to not look stuff up. So, but I like to, like, it's, I like to get advice from people. Oh, she's good so far. Okay. Alright, let's try, let's try out this setup. And now we are, we are in that other area, and it loops oddly. Oh, so you can go down. Okay, I see. I'm gonna go down into the sands and see if we can beat up some of that stuff that was down there that was kicking our butts, except it was in the other area, but, you know, it's fine. Unless we come around the corner and find one of those stupid friggin'... Oh, I guess I will also... Oop, not that. Uh, I want to... Can I? Oh, I can't say that's right. Oh, that freaks me out. Uh, but I do save when I walk into a new area. Okay. Mm, okay. We have a whole other squad if we need to. So if this, if this, if this fails. Oh, what? No, you don't get to do that. If this oh, fails, then I'll uh. Oh, jeez. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Uh, how do I, I can't remember, oh jeez. I think it's like, can Vossler be the thing? Okay, actually, Vossler, you need to do. Wait, 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 wait. Consume HP, lower one foe's strength. Yeah, cast that, cast that. Look at her spinning around. <laughs> Take a friggin' potion, darling. Did she cast silence on these suckers? I don't know if she did or not. And Penelo, why are you down here? Oh no, this is bad. I think Ash, yeah, Ash healed herself. Um, she's far enough away. She has no, okay, oh frick, this is problematic. Either. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? Why are they freaking attacking Ash? She hasn't done anything. Okay, oh, uh, oh, okay, ah. Uh. 
Okay. Ooh, counter. The boss is a boss! Oh my goodness gracious, except he's gonna get all this XP! It's okay, it's fine. Uh, nope, not an item. Technique. A master of walking, it's amazing. Ooh, oh geez. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but here we are. Oh my gosh, okay, but we're going back up top. I'm never coming back down here again. This was a bad idea. I didn't realize Fossler could be a team leader uh, because I'm a new one. Uh, do I want to bring... Yeah. Uh, Pinello, Fran, Bosch, Fossler. This is fine, I guess. As soon as one of them levels up, we can switch out for their counterpart. No, no, I need Ash back. So we'll put Ash in. And Bossler will bring her back. Yay! And Bossler can take a potion. Yeah, because if I want to talk about freaking D&D, which I said I was going to talk about, and the episode's almost freaking over, it's ridiculous. Um, anyway. <laughs> now I don't know what to talk about it. <laughs> All I did was talk about some, like, slightly controversial stuff in D&D, and I wanted to talk about my illusionist and necromancer that I'm trying to make. Anyway. Oh, I should have checked to see how high level those creatures were. I think they were level 15, but I could be wrong. Oh, that's what that, uh, that, that icon is. The speech bubble is the, um, silence. Don't go downstairs. We're gonna go across. We already come up again. Really? I've just been zigzagging back and forth. All right, we get around this and we go south. We stay up top where it's safer. Oh, I don't have anybody stealing in this squad. That's okay. I'm sure I'll get one of my, my thieves back in some point in time soon here when somebody levels up. I don't think Vossler even has steel in his vocabulary, so it's not something I can do with him. Let's have you take Oh, uh, yeah, Ash is just running through. Yeah, she's just casting silence, and thunder. Yeah, I need to. I maybe need to stick her with like the weak, like bon or the the weak thing, and then consciously take her over. Essentially, if I want her to cast something else, I think that's gonna be. That's kind of why I wanted to control Ash as the leader too. But she doesn't steal. It's okay if I put. I guess if I put her on a squad with Balthier or Bon, I wouldn't necessarily need to have her steal. Anyway, I'm gonna call this episode here. <laughs> um, sorry I didn't get to any of the things I was kind of wanting to say. I spent a lot of time um, doing gambity stuff, and we're still gonna have to mess around with Ash's gambits, I think, for sure. But thank you all so, very mu so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you're all enjoying, and I hope to see you in the next one.